Good morning, Kaagham. How are you today? Are you ready to fill your mind with new learning? Come, join me. Let's explore the wonders of science. I am Ma'am Maylin and this is Valenzuela Life. In today's lesson, we are going to describe the possible causes of plate movements. Are you ready? Let's begin. There are three forces that drives the plate movement. These are convection current, slab pull theory, and reach push. In 1930, Arthur Holmes suggested a mechanism that could explain Alfred Wegener's theory of continental drift. He proposed the power of convection current as the driving force of plate movement. It is a widely accepted driving mechanism for continental drift which lead to the foundation of modern plate tectonics. To understand Holmes' theory, first, you should have an idea of convection current. Convection current is a process that involves the movement of energy from one place to another. When boiling water on a stove, the temperature of molecules within those liquid increases, and they slowly begin to move in a rapid rate. These molecules get charged up, thus producing kinetic energy. These hot water molecules residing near the heat source tend to become less dense. They rise above cooler dense molecules, and as these hotter molecules rise, they tend to cool down and begin to sink, replacing cooler molecules. These movements occurring with this boiling water is what we call the convection current. This is the same process that occurs in the Earth's mantle. Convection current within the Earth's mantle are caused by hot material rising upwards cooling, then dropping back towards the core. Convection creates loop of sinking colder molten rocks and rising of hotter molten rocks. The rising of molten rocks creates cracks in the ocean floor. The magma pushes, pushes up and out of the crust, forming new crust. It exerts lateral force that pushes tectonic plates away from each other in a process known as seafloor spreading. Now, this is convection current. Now, let's go with rich uh, slab pull theory. Remember, in convergent plate boundary, the denser plate will subduct towards the mantle. This subduction of a plate is explained by the slab pull theory. Slab pull is defined as the force exerted by the weight of the subducted crust on the plate it is attached to. To clearly understand how slab pull works, let's watch this video demonstration. Here, the paper clip represents the subducting tectonic plates. Observe what will happen to the chain as it moves down the edge. We observe that the leading edge of the chain pulls the trail of the paper clip down. This is ex uh, exactly what happened during slab pull. As the lithospheric plates move away from the mid-ocean ridge, they cool and become denser, causing it to subduct. As the denser plates bends down towards the mantle, because of the gravity, 
the leading plate drags the rest of the plate along with it, causing tectonic movement. In slab pull, gravity, uh, gravity plays a special role in pulling the older denser plate down the mantle. Now let's discuss bridge push. Bridge push is a gravitational force that causes the plate to move away from the ridge. Mid-ocean ridge is the location of seafloor spreading, and it is where ridge push occurs. The molten magma that rises at the mid-ocean ridge is very hot and heats the rocks around it. As the rocks near the ridge are heated, it expands and becomes elevated around the seafloor. Uh, sea this elevation produces a slope down and away from the ridge. The lava that flows from the ridge is very hot at first. Therefore, it is less dense compared with the rocks farther away from the ridge. However, as the newly formed rocks moves away from the ridge, it becomes cooler, denser, and thicker. Gravity then causes gravity then causes this older, denser crust to slide away from the ridge and down the sloping crust. Just like what happens in a landslide. And as the crust slides away from the ridge, it pushes the older denser crust towards the subduction zones. And this is how ridge push works. These are the three driving forces that drives the movement of plates. We have convection current in the mantle, slab push, and ridge push. Slab pull and ridge push. Now, at this moment, let's check your understanding of the lesson. This activity is entitled Quiz Chat. I will be posting five questions. And you are going to type your, the letter of your answer on the comment section. You will be given 10 seconds to key in your answer. Are you ready? Let's begin. Question number one. The convection current in the mantle is driven by heat. Where is this heat coming from? A. Heat from the fire. B. Heat from the sun. C. Heat from the core. Or D. Heat from molten rocks. 10 seconds. Go. Alright, time is up. Remember, the heat that drives the movement of plate, that drives convection current in the mantle, comes from letter C, heat from the core. Very good, learner. Now let's go with question number two. In the convection current cycle, what happens to molten rocks in the mantle when they are heated? A. It stays near the core. B. It rises towards the crust. C. It pulls down in the mantle. Or letter D. It pulls the crust at subduction zone. 10 seconds. Go. Time is up. The correct answer is letter B. It rises towards the cross. 
Remember, when molten rocks are heated, it becomes less, less dense and rises towards the crust. Now, let's go with question number three. What driving force of plate movement occurs at mid-ocean ridge? Letter A, subduction. B, ridge push. C, slab pull. Or letter D, convection current. Your 10 seconds starts now. All right, time is up. Let's check your answer. So the driving force of plate that of plate movements that occurs at the ocean ridge is letter B, ridge push. Very good, learners. Now let's go with question number four. What do you call the force that the sinking edge of the plate exert on the rest of the plate? Letter A, slab pull. B, subduction. C, ridge push. Or letter D, convection current. 10 seconds. Key in your answer. Go. All right, time is up. The correct answer for number four is letter A, slab pool. Now let's go with the fifth and last question. Question number five. What happens to the density of magma when it is heated near the core? A, it becomes softer. B, it becomes thicker. C, it becomes denser, D, it becomes less dense. 10 seconds, go. All right, time is up. So if you answer letter D, it becomes less dense, you are correct. Great job, learners. It seems that you really understood our lesson for today. Now, at this moment, you are free to key in your question about our lesson. You will be given 30 seconds. You will be given 30 seconds to key in your question and the teacher moderator will choose the three questions that I will try to answer. All right, the teacher moderator has already chosen question. Now let me read question number one from Karohatan National High School. In slab pool, does the plate subducts at the same rate? Remember, the plate subducts at different rate, and the rate at which a plate sinks depends mostly on its age, temperature, and density. Take note, older plates are cooler, denser, thus they sink faster than younger plates. Now let's have question number two from Malinta National High School. What causes ridge push to occur? A ridge push is caused by gravitational force and it exists because the ridge occurs at higher elevation. The ridge is at higher elevation than the rest of the ocean floor and that causes the crust to move away from the ridge. Now let's have 
Question number three from Malanday National High School. How ridge push affects slab pull? As lithospheric plates move away from mid-ocean ridges, they cool and become denser. Denser crust sinks into the mantle, and this helps slab pull to pull the rest of the plate down. Alright, so I think I have answered all the questions sent by our student. I hope I have answered it correctly. Now, for the questions that were not chosen, it will be entertained by your subject teachers on your class discussion tomorrow. Remember, Albert Einstein once said, the important thing is to never stop questioning. Again, this is Ma Maylin. Thank you for watching Valenzuela Live. See you next time.